Hello boys and girls. You just saw that Jeep after all of the installs, all of the modifications, well, almost, I'm not counting it getting linexed, uh, interior, and one skid plate because there was a bracket missing uh, on one of the skid plates and I couldn't install it. But I made this short video because many of you were asking for it. Well, really just two of you. But I made it anyways, and this is right after the alignment. Because of the lift kit, I couldn't drive the... I didn't want to drive the Jeep uh, too much because the traction control was kicking in, and that's because the steering wheel wasn't true to the wheels, meaning the steer ahead was not right, and one of the yaw sensors was off, and that is why I had those issues with the traction control. So the, the clanking noise you're going to hear, that's just some brackets, hardware and stuff bouncing around in the back, so don't be alarmed. And at this point, it still needs a tune. It wasn't all 100%. Uh, Magnuson did send out a reprogrammed ECU, and that's what's in it in this video. But it's always a good idea and good practice to, if you do major changes, uh, really anything after an exhaust and intake upgrade. Even if you did a full exhaust and an intake to your Jeep or any, any car out there, still I advise you do a tune. So what you're not gonna see in this video is the responsiveness of the accelerator pedal wasn't there. It, would, uh, there was, it was a little bit laggy. It wasn't as responsive as it should be. But it was drivable and uh, yep, it's, uh, hmm, you gotta consider all the weight that was added also. For example, the side skirts maybe weigh five pounds each. Now, the ones I installed, probably 50 pounds each. Maybe 40, 40, 50. The front and rear bumpers, also prob probably a difference of 50 pounds each. So that's another 100 pounds added. The bigger wheels, the, the supercharger itself, the, the wench. I'm guessing I had to... I probably added maybe 500 pounds, maybe more, not sure. Skid plates, the reinforced uh, spare mount, you know, th those brackets for the lift kit, the, the metal outside and inner fenders, at least 500 pounds, I'm guessing, okay? Maybe even 700. So there will be another video. I'm gonna showcase the whole Jeep, everything when it's done. I was gonna do it now, but didn't want to reveal it kind of so there will be another video of me showing the whole the whole jeep you know walking around driving it and so on and so on all right so just for you enjoy <laughs> you hear it's just some hardware bouncing around in the back let's pop the window the seat seat belt on So yeah, so this is after the alignment. Didn't want to drive it before too much. So just a short test drive. Mm -hmm. 